Hey guys, just wanted to take the time to make a quick little disclaimer before the video started. I'm in no way, shape, or form an expert at Dokkan Battle. I just enjoy playing the game, I've been playing it for quite a few years now, and I just thought a nice rank 1 free to play account. Starting in 2022 would just be interesting and also benefit newer players to the game because Dokkan can be very overwhelming and uh, frustrating for a lot of players. Um, I also thought recording would just be cool to see how many Dragonstones we could collect from the end of the worldwide celebration until the start of the 8th anniversary, which should be sometime in July of 2023. Um, but yeah, we will not be summoning on any Dokkan Fest banners or LR banners that are going to be coming out between now and July of 2023. And last thing, please bear with me while I try to make better videos and better edits for everyone. I'm still learning the whole video uh, recording process and the editing. And honestly, it's just a lot of fun. So, um... Yeah, let's just get right into the video. Alright guys, what is going on? We are back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we're just going to summon for Shinron real quick. Get him out of the way. And then we're going to jump over to the Team Bardock EZA. Get those guys done. And then we will probably not be using them at all though. Because we are still rocking Ginyu Force. Because they are just kind of superior in every way. And for me, that is going to be my go-to team for the unforeseeable future, unless something changes for some reason. Anyways, as you guys can see, I am at rank 242, and my Dragonstone count is at 3,214, and I believe we are on day 24, I think. It might be 25, but I think it's 24. But, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump over, grab Shinron. I already collected the Dragon Balls. This is like the fourth or fifth time summoning for him. And then we'll do our wish and get over to the Team Bardock EZA event. So, I don't know if I'm going to... I gotta take a look. I think you can select, um... What is it? The green treasure gems. But I still do have the option to get 10 Dragon Stones plus some character box space, which I think I might just take that now and do the incredible gems later because I will probably just do that so it's a little bit easier to grind up the free to play LR Vegito Blue um, so let's see so get tons of incredible gems yeah so there's that one and then there's more incredible gems okay so I guess I can do that twice uh, so I might just grind the Dragon Balls back up it doesn't take very long and then see if I can't collect the rest of my LR Vegeta Blue copies. Not the actual LR, but the SSRs. But I think today I'm just going to grab the character slots and the Dragon Stones just because. So we'll do that. It should only be 10 Dragon Stones, which is fine. We'll collect that at the end of the video. Okay, that's out of the way, so we will jump over to the Team Bardock EZA. Okay, so we are over here on the Team Bardock EZA, and I totally forgot that I do not have this event done. Let's clear all the stages of the above events on all difficulties. Um, I don't believe this event has been back since I started this grind, but that is why previously I actually did the Dragon Balls another time and did the uh, treasure keys. So I guess instead of doing the Team Bardock Easy 8 today, we will just grind this event and maybe do one of the characters Easy A's because if I don't, or if I do all of them, it's going to be a very long video. Okay, sorry about that. That took me a little bit to find this in the Portal of Memories, um, but we do have 100 keys. Oh wait, no, it looks like this uh, event must have been back at some point because I did the first stage, so... Uh, yeah, whatever, I guess. Unless I used a key, I don't remember. So we have plenty of keys. We should be able to get through this pretty quick. Uh, don't mind that. That's just for me jumping back and forth between this and my iPad. Alright, so we're just gonna run through this very quickly. And then, we, yeah, I think we will probably easy a the whole Team Bardock team in this video. Okay, so this is gonna be like a grind of probably six to seven stages, I think. Oh, man, I that's one thing I hate. I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but switching your account back from different devices or transferring your account from different devices so you can play. You have to re-download the game every freaking time, but I need to do that to keep my grind up when I'm traveling or out of my house. So that's why I've been doing that, and uh, we get this all the time. Every freaking time. But I guess it is what it is. Alright, so we'll just kind of click through this. It shouldn't take too much. And yeah, we'll get... We'll get us. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a little skip here. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the final stage. All 
Alright guys, we are back and we are on the last stage of the Alone Warrior's last battle, which you need to complete to be able to go into Team Bardock's EZA. So if you have not done that, I highly suggest probably grinding up these Shenron Dragon Balls and um, getting all these keys, or you can wait around until the event comes back. I don't know exactly the time frames these, uh, these events come back, but I'm sure I could find it on the wiki or something. But I just suggest probably grinding up uh, the Dragon Balls multiple times, getting lots of Dragon Stones, lots of um, Portal Memory Keys, and you can also get a lot of Incredible Gems. But yeah, this, uh, this event's not hard at all. Uh, you basically just click right through it, and uh, I don't think there's anything of relevance here. There are some character drops, but nothing that uh, you guys really need. Alright, so there you got it. We did unlock the Extreme Z area for the Team Bardock, and let's go to the event, actually. So, let's take a look. Um, let's go stage one first. So, we need... Oh, no! So, we can do some of this, but it does look like, like I do need to grind up that AGL Bardock from that event. Unfortunately, so we're not going to be able to get all of, them, all of them done. So, But we can do the rest of the Guinea Force. Um, everyone besides... Uh, I guess it's just that guy. I mean, I guess we don't technically need him, but I think he's a decent unit, so we might end up grinding him up later. But let's just jump into stage two with Goldo and Borgos, and let's get our teams created. Hopefully, I can just reuse um, some teams I used in the Hero Extermination events. No, so I'm going to have to just create a new team, so give me one second. Okay, so this is going to be my team. I think we're just going to rock, yeah, Guinea Force, and then you just add the Bardock member to the Guinea Force team. Obviously, he's not going to be hitting worth a crap, but uh, this should work out pretty well. I mean, the Guinea Force members will do fine. What is Golda's lead? He is Planet Namek Saga, yeah, 77%, so uh, everyone's been getting buffed besides our Bardock member, Borgos, but that does not matter. So let's get right into this, and uh, yeah, it's cool wasting time here. So we will need to do each side three times, so we need to get the gold capsule three times and the silver one three times. You can get lucky and get that question mark uh, landing spot in the middle of the event. If you do that, just try and keep an eye on which one it gives you every time or look at the end. Because, I mean, you can, it's not a huge deal because these run through really quick, but you might get, get more medals of one than the other and it's just... At a time they don't really need to be doing, I guess. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, that'll be fine. It doesn't matter. They're gonna destroy him here in like one or two turns. Like, I don't think I don't foresee this taking more than one actual turn. So let's see what Ginyu does to him. And yeah, over half of his health is gone. Gold is gonna finish him off, and we are done one time. So we need to do this another. Two times on the right, three times on the left, then you have to go back and do the easier stage. Three on right, three on the left. So just kind of tedious for everyone, but it does run through pretty quick. Let's see how long that says it took us to do. Probably like a minute, maybe. So it might take about 12 to 15 minutes per character to get this done. Not too bad, though. Yeah, it took a minute, so. Yeah, I'd say it's going to take about 12 to 15 minutes per character to get their easy A's done. So you just jump right back into it. I'm going right back into the super. I like to do one uh, stage first, get it done, then go back and do the last. I don't mess around and go and easy A them like to like level 125. I just wait till I get them completely done. And then hopefully we have enough Zenny to do this. So I rotate, so I'll go after the silvers now. Um, just because you never know when you're gonna get that question mark in the middle. So I don't wanna grab too many of one metal and then not the other because you could just end up having extra of one for no reason. Yeah, so this stage is not too bad. Most of them are going to look just like this. So, yeah, let's just keep running along and get this done. And we will just be done with the Team Bardock. Easy A's. I will probably go back and get that AGL Bardock done. But I probably... I don't know if I'll put it on, on camera or not. I don't think it's that important to do that. Mainly, I would say, getting the Guinea Force done as a free-to-play uh, account... Oops. Just went to attempt to get. Anyways, 
I think getting the Guinea Force done is the main criteria of having a successful free to play account and then also getting Team Bardock if you need to use like super class allies and all that. It is always nice to have Team Bardock with you, but um, I don't think they're necessary either. But as something to just do and to get extra dragon stones, I would just get Team Bardock done. That's just my own opinion. You don't need to do this, um, but I probably would. Honestly, Team Bardock is going to have some crazy ass, you know, Dokkan Fest come out and. Um, <clears throat> Some of these units might be, you know, a good option to put on that team. But yeah, we will see. Um, but I would assume they would almost have to try and make... I don't know, they've been talking about maybe doing two easy A's, like a double easy A. So I don't know if down the road, if they easy A the Guinea Force again, and then they easy A the Team Bardock team again for their second time, maybe they will make Team Bardock as good as Team Ginyu. But... I don't know if they will do that. They might release some crazy ass units though. Just like they did with the Burger and Jace, which are very good. Uh, it's a very good unit, just banner unit. And the Goldo Raccoon, which is a phenomenal unit. They might do that with Team Bardock in a uh, campaign down the road. It's like they have to, but we will see. Okay, so this is going to be the second time on each side. We have not gotten that question mark landing spot yet. Um, hopefully we get it in the next one, then we only have to do one more rotation on this side of the event. Then we jump over to the other side, so I am probably going to cut. There's no point showing every single one, so I might just show the end of every single one. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to take forever, probably. So, but let's get Borgos out of here. He's not helping the team at all, and hopefully they just get him out of here this turn. And it's, uh, no, that, that Ginyu should get him out of here. Not too bad. I mean, <clears throat> even when you got Borgos on the rotation, if you got the Ginyu Force Easy 8, this Team Bardock Easy 8 is super, super easy. And yeah, not, not that bad, honestly. So, yeah, we'll get jump or. All right, so hopefully we get the question mark landing, uh, spots. Let's see. Nope, we didn't. We'll probably get it on the last time we need to, which is just pointless. So we'll go right side with the gold capsules. All right, I don't foresee Borgos surviving this one, um, but... No, yeah, see, he's dead one shot by Goldo. Super, super easy. And yeah, all of them are going to be like this, so... As long as you are attacking with uh, their counterparts or their uh, typing, their... Super attack typing, not super attack, but you get the advantage typing. Uh, you guys are good to go. So uh, we got to do this one more time with the silver capsules, and then we are done on the right side of Borgos. Or not the right side, but we are done with... Uh, we didn't get the question mark landing at all on this one, but we will be done with the higher, the gold, and the rainbow medals for Borgos, and then we just jump back down into the white and the bronze. I think it's white and bronze. Where then you have to do it another three times each, and it's just so repetitive. It is a grind, but it is totally worth it for free-to-play players. For sure. For sure. Okay, so we are done with the gold and the rainbow medals for Borgos. I am going to skip probably to the last uh, medal run for uh, either the bronze or the white. I think it's the white medals. I mean, it's bronze and silver. I think it's bronze and silver, actually. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to do the hard part. Well, it's called the hard part, quotations. And I'm just trying to get that question mark landing there, but we're not seeming to get it. Uh, it is what it is, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys when we get to the final medals for Borgos. And then we'll probably just easy eight him and then call that a video. Um, but it's just basically doing this with every character. Changing your teams to the specific characters that they are requiring you to bring. So usually you get to swap out, you know, I don't know. Burger for Borgos, Jace for Bardock, you know, just simple stuff like that. Alright guys, we are finally on the last run for the last medals for this Borgos. Unfortunately, we did not ever get the question mark landing spot, which would basically give you a free run. Um, so we did not get that, so we actually did have to do all three runs on the right side, all three runs on the left for each uh, stage, the stage hard and the super hard. Um, 
unfortunately that's just, it is what it is sometimes you can get that two or three times per like character you're trying to do it for but unfortunately for Borgos and for us we were unlucky and had to do all 12 runs in total it is what it is it's not that bad I think that took I don't know 20 minutes it might take like 20 minutes but I was kind of messing around so we'll do this we'll get the final medals we will easy a Borgos Honestly, this is probably better for like some kind of uh, like a live stream doing like the whole Team Bardock Easy A's, um, things like that, because it does actually take quite a while. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so I'm not going to do that because the video is running long as it is. So we will just get Borgos Easy A'd and then I will Easy A'd the rest of them either all in one video or I might just do it off camera because this is basically all you do for all of them. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment down into the comments and uh, someone will try and help you out either me or one of the subscribers would help you out okay so that is done let's see we should have enough medals to awaken Borgos completely okay so we are over here we're gonna awaken Borgos let's see if we can just jump all the way to the final one I don't know if I have enough Zenny. I didn't even look I should I got quite a bit wait what's going on It only did the first one. Did I uh, mess up my count? Hold on, let me jump back into it. God damn it! And of course, when we get in here, it gives us the question mark landing spot, and that's cool. And we got the right, so that's the silvers. We need more on the left. I swear I did this three times. Maybe I only did it twice. All right, shouldn't be too hard to get this done. I don't know how I messed that up. Unless I have my counts wrong, maybe you get to do four on the left and three on the right in the first part. I don't think so, though. I think it's three and three. Does he get seven? Let's see. Actually, I'm going to see. Because it gave me 14, 28. It should give us 14 medals here. Let's see. It should drop 14 of those bronze medals. Maybe I'm nuts. Maybe maybe it's the silver medals that drop 14. Okay, so I was wrong, but the silver do drop 14, but the bronze drop like it looks like it could be two or five or two or three. So I had five, ten. I think you need 15. I think that should be it. So I think I actually only did that side of the event twice. So let's jump back over to the growth tab and awaken and Borgos, and we should be able to jump all the way to the end. Yep. So as you guys can see, we can do every single one. The silver, we have an extra 30. We have 30 of the gold, and we have 30 of the rainbow medals to fully awaken Borgos. All right, and I'm not going to, which it looks like I did end up giving him a super attack to level 11. I'm not going to do that, at least not in this video. I might down the road, but right now I'm not going to be using those. I don't want to waste any of my uh, Kai's or anything like that. So I'm just going to train him up to be level 140, and that's it. Okay, so we do have Borgos now at level 140. I'm not going to max out a super tech just because I know I'm probably not going to be using them. At least right now I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the video. Uh, let's jump back out of here. We will collect whatever rewards that we have gotten. And I think the yeah, 10 Dragon Stones there is from the Shinron earlier. We'll collect that and we'll collect whatever mission rewards that we have received or gotten. Okay, got an additional Dragon Stone there. And none there, which is fine. So that brings our total Dragon Stone count up to 3,245. So not too bad there. We are about at 3,250 Dragon Stones in about 25 days. Uh, if I waited another 4 minutes, we could probably hit that uh, reset uh, time, but not going to do that either. But yeah, just a quick recap. So we are now at rank 243, Dragon Stone count at 3,245, and yeah, so not too bad, not too bad, but anyways guys, if you guys liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.